Hello, this is NTR1023, and I'm back again with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. So today we are going to buy some magic and some items. And to run, you hold down the B button and move, but you can only run inside of towns. Talk to this guy. Oh please, you must rescue the princess. So apparently the princess of this town got um, kidnapped. So there are two types of magic, white and black magic. Um, white magic store is has a white sign, black magic store has a black sign. So let's walk in here. Then buy. You can buy um, magic is 50 gil a piece. Gil is your money. So that's level 1 magic though. And you can see who can use it by which ones are lit up like. Um, so we want to start off getting cure. Cure is very important. Um, it's probably the most important of any of the magic. Then, um, Dia is also really nice. Let's get that. And let's go check out the black magic. We'll get more as time goes on. Spy, um, fire is going to be important here. So we want some fire for him. Then, fire damage puts all foes to sleep. Lowers one foe's evasion. Deals lightning damage. Let's do sleep. Alright, so now we have our magic. Different magic. Certain magic you can use out of battle, certain you can only use in battle. It's so like cure, for example, you can use out of battle. And to use magic, you go to your pause screen, click magic click on the character whose magic you want to use, and you click cure, and then you can cure someone who's not at full health. Then Dia deals damage to all undead foes. It doesn't do anything to living foes. Fire deals fire damage, and sleep puts all foes to sleep. And sleep is very helpful for a specific battle later on, but really there's only one time it's, any, it's of any use. No one else has any magic at the current time, so now let's head over to the provisioner, or item store person, whatever you call him. So Sage, um, Sage Lucon says something about finding the Crescent Moon. Then he just up and left town. So I wonder what the Crescent Moon is. Um, let's walk over here. Another person. Please rescue Lady Sarah. Up here, this is the, um, the, I think it's called the sanctuary where you like if you're poisoned or dead you can come here and pay some money to revive and but if you don't need any of the services and he says there are none there are none in need of my services do not lose heart brave warriors so basically he doesn't do anything unless you actually need him so then another dude here I once lived far east of here in the harbor city of Provoca these days, I hear it's turned into a pirate's den. Might need to go check that place out sometime. But yeah, and one other thing, um, magic. Whenever you use magic, it costs MP. MP is um, represented, it stands for magic points, and you currently have 10. And then it also tells the MP cost of each spell. Like, for example, cure costs 3, so if you used it, you go down to 7 MP, and it costs 3 times. 3 MP every time you use it, and once you use it, the only way to revive or restore it is by using certain items, or staying in a tent, or tent cottage, or sleeping bag, or um, uh, use staying at an inn. Let's talk to the provisioner. Um, we want to get some potions. Let's get about five of them. Let's get about three of them, actually. No. Let's get about two. Just ignore the phone. It goes off all the time. Antidote. Wow. We need to get more money. Um, antidote. Let's go ahead and get an antidote. We're going to go get some more money later on. So, let's... Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. Sorry about that. I had to get that call. So... Now that we've done everything we can do, let's go talk to one of the guards. Um, 
He says, the king is searching for the prophesied warriors of light. The, those crystals. You must see the king at once. Alright, so... We magically teleport to Castle Corne to the second floor of Castle Cornelia. The king says, Welcome travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? They all hold up their crystals. It's just as 